I got a new body scanner uh, at Fitness for 10 here in Carson City. This thing is really cool because it's going to scan your whole body. Uh, on the screen, you'll see all your measurements, uh, your body fat percentage, and so on. This is a really effective tool for our personal trainers to monitor uh, people's progress. So let me show you how it works. All right, so you guys probably saw the a little bit of our um, information on our uh, scanner, which checks your body composition. That's right before this little interview that we're doing. We're going to kind of go into it a little deeper. And uh, so you 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 saw or you're seeing spliced in here how the uh, scanner works, and it's something that uh, well. David's kind of heading that up for us. So just give us a brief rundown on how it works. Yeah, sure, Steve. So the uh, Staiku 3D body scanning machine, I mean, it's fantastic uh, all on its own. Uh, really cool piece of machinery. So what it does is it uses infrared light, so it's non-invasive, doesn't uh, have x-ray or anything like that. So it's safe for any individuals, pregnant women, people with pacemakers, different things that might complicate other methods, such as a DEXA scan and stuff like that. So you, you get on the turntable, as you might see, and, and this turntable takes about 40 seconds or so to do a full rotation around. And in that time, um, it's able to get all of your body measurements. So as you were talking about, it it, it goes through, it gets your, your body fat percentage, also takes your weight at the same time. So you have an accurate weight every time you do this scan. But even more than that, it gives us accurate measurements of various body parts, many of them actually, so several different, you know, arm and leg, hip, abdomen measurements, chest measurements, all those types of things. The cool part about that is every time you do it, it's going to measure in the exact same spot, which for me as a trainer is, is a valuable tool uh, because with measuring tapes and stuff like that, the better you get at doing those measurements, you can be pretty precise, but you know, it's not going to be quite as precise as what, you know, we have with the Staiku scanner because that's scanning in that same spot. So it's really cool. It's really accurate. And the nice part about it is for, you know, our members here, or even people who aren't members here and want to come get it done. This Staiku machine is going to allow us to track that progress over time. So as you visualize kind of that win getting to your goal, you'll be able to visualize that along the route and see where the progress is. And, you know, if you might need to adjust and if you're working with a trainer such as myself, you know, we'll be able to make those adjustments and just really keep everybody engaged. It's a fantastic tool. Yeah. And uh, if you guys are in Carson City area, come down, you can see ours. Um, and uh, I've, I've had it test, I've, I've tested my body composition and hopefully we're going to be getting more for our other uh, gyms in Northern Nevada. But uh, yeah, you nailed it when it, um, it it's going to tell you how many pounds of body fat. It's going to tell you what your body fat percentage is. And the thing that is good about it is it's consistent because you cannot your coach cannot take your bicep measurement exactly the same every time. It's just not possible. Right. But the machine can. It can do everything exactly the same. And so you can actually see what's happening to your biceps, what's happening to your quads, your waist. And it takes these measurements in multiple different places. So it's consistent. And you can see, oh, my waist got smaller. Oh, my waist got bigger. Oh, my... I gained two pounds, but my waist got smaller or my biceps got bigger, or you can monitor all of it and you can compare it. So that's the great thing about it is to be able to monitor your progress. And, um, you know, you can know if you're in a good range. I think a lot of people always think that they're leaner than they really are. I just yeah. think that's just kind of human nature to say, oh, I'm... 15% when you're really 19. Um, my body composition right now, I'm by the time you watch this video, I'm 62. Um, and I was 13.7%, which is, I have to say, um, pat myself on the back. That's pretty good for someone in their 60s. 
So you guys can look at some of the shorts and see what I look like and go, okay, that's what 13.7, call it 14% looks like. And you can kind of make a comparison about, okay, here's what I look like. Here's what he looks like. And women's body fat percentage is always higher um, unless they're really, really lean. I mean, that um, 13.7% for a woman would not be healthy. Um, women get down below that sometimes when they're competing, but for a natural body comp, that would not be healthy. Uh, for a man, you know, um, most men aren't going to go below 10%. Again, competitive bodybuilders, like what David is doing right now, physique shows and stuff. What are you, maybe 5% now, 6%? Probably right now. Um, around five and a half, um, maybe a little bit less because I've been leaning out even more ever so slowly, but you know, as we inch toward the show on August 10th. Right, and that's not something, that's not a place where you're gonna stay. That's not healthy. Oh, no. <laughs> you know, no. it's for a show. It's for a one time, here's how I look on this day. Exactly. Um, but you know, depending on your age, um, I think a good goal is definitely for all men is to be under 18%, don't you think? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I think that's a, a good goal. And it's, it's, you know, a healthy range to be in. The nice part about this is whether you're a man or you're a woman, once you get the scan done, it's going to give you um, what range you're in, whether that's, you know, kind of an at risk range, whether you're an average fit or athletic, um, you know, it'll kind of give you that range. So you'll have an idea as well uh, of where you're at. Right. And the great thing is, is you can see what's working. You can see how your diet's working. Uh, you can see because the scale is not going to tell you everything. You know, one of the, one of the um, tests I did, I was a couple pounds lighter and I wanted to see what it would do. And it was a, my body composition. My body fat was a little higher, even though I was a little lighter. So you don't want to do these tests that close together, but you'd want to do everything the same. So if you get your test the first time, and if you guys have, you know, methods like this, a scanner or something at your club, your health clubs, I, I suggest that you go try it. Mm -hmm. It's, it's worth the money if, if it's, if they're charging for it. Um, and so you want to do everything the same. You want to wear the same clothes. Um, you want, okay. I didn't eat breakfast. And I didn't work out, okay? And I, I got the body test at 11 a.m. Do it exactly the same because that way you're going to get the most consistency, right? Yeah, I, I would agree with that completely, Steve. So unlike some other you know methods of, of looking at body fat and th body composition, things like that, I mean, it's not required to fast or not work out or those things. But to your point, it's really important for consistency purposes, especially with you know, this type of, uh, you know, body measurement, a 3D body scan to try to consistently, like you said, do it around the same time, each time that you do it, kind of repeat the conditions, if you will, um, as best you can, um, each time that you do it. So you can really see that difference under those same conditions that you did your last scan. Right. Um, so it's just a, a very useful tool. And uh, you guys, if you're interested in just things that are happening at the gym, uh, subscribe to the channel, please. Uh, like the video. We do videos like this. We interview uh, trainers slash coaches like, da <coughs> excuse me, like David. We interview some doctors and some nutritionists. And so just kind of kick some ideas around um, on, you know, health and working out and different ideas. And a lot of it is about what works for me. I've been lifting weights and trying to be healthy and put muscle on since I was about 12. Um, so long time. So, uh, David, appreciate your input. Uh, yeah, thanks for I being could... with us. Yeah, sure. I, I just want to add one thing before we go, Steve. So one other thing that uh, I'd love for the, the viewers and followers to know uh, about this machine when they come in, you know, it's it, the, the scan itself is fantastic. The measurements are great. We're able to keep progress. But one of the things that adds to the value of this 
amazing machine is the ability after that as well to take a look at um, you know what our goal is. If we're at 18% body fat and we want to go to 15% body fat, we're able to actually calculate how long that's going to take you based on your workouts, based on your your metabolic rate that we're go- we would show you at that point, which is individual, of course, for everybody. You know how fast your metabolism is, all of that stuff would be explained, and so we're able to give you a goal date, a very specific date that. This is the date that you will be able to achieve that. So I wanted to add that in because a lot of people really like that feature of not just it's kind of a date up in the air someplace that in a couple of months, maybe I'll do this. It's like, here's a goal date. Let's work toward that. And you can keep that in your mind as as that motivation, because that's a lot of what my clients do. And, and that's something that's great. So as we gear up and go towards that date, you know, we're doing our once a month scans things like that. It's a really great feature. So I just wanted to also add that in because that's part of the, the scan and the consultation that you get with it. Yeah, that's a great point. And now, David, if they want to see what five, five and a half percent looks like, how do they follow you on social media? Yeah. So um, as I said, I, I'm probably, gosh, what is it? 12 days out now. August 10th is my show. So they can go to Instagram at David Wright underscore fitness. And that's going to be my personal fitness page, fitness journey, my show prep that I'm currently in, get to kind of see how that's going. And then my personal training page at right fitness training, also on Instagram. All right, David, thanks for being with us. Thanks, Steve.